Guys, today we are going to be doing the carburetor and fuel lines on an Echo GT225. Um, all the parts will be in the description below. It is the same carburetor kit as the SRM225. I use HIPA products. They are OEM quality. I'll put this in the link below in the description. Just click on the link. It's got everything you'll need in it. Alright, set up. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is take off the air filter cover. Air filter. All this is very nice new shape. It just would not run. Of course, I've been gone on vacation. It's probably fire right up now, won't it? And choke. Oh, that's it right there. And there's no real adjustment on these. There is an adjustment down here. You gotta break the plastic cap off, and there's another plastic cap up in here. But it it's so sensitive, it's not gonna. I don't even bother. I just go ahead and put the new one in. Um so a torque 27. Now oh, this is a T-handle for a still. It's got the spark plug socket and the torque. I'll put that in the description for you as well. Let's click on the link. There's two bolts. see it one here one here get them off and out of the way like so a little gasket between them we're, we'll probably put one in there um go ahead and cut the lines off it doesn't matter which ones are which we will show you what ones are what on that um, 10 millimeter wrench break this nut free loosen it up take it out it just slides in and out it's a it's a, a barrel that slides right in the hole of the other barrel no problem all right that's out of there Flathead screwdriver. We're going to push it up under, up under the grommet, and pry it up. Careful, don't stab yourself. There we go. All that's out of there. Now we're going to go ahead and dump the gas and uh, uh, rinse out the tank with fresh gas if you have to. You wanna have uh, brand new gas that you bought today in this when you put in a new carburetor and fuel lines. All right, get the uh, new uh, fuel lines out. I take the one with the filter and I pull on it just a little bit. We wanna make that line just a little shorter than the other line so we know that the shorter line has the fuel filter in it. We're going to stuff the fuel filter down in the hole, the rest of it down in the hole, like so. And then we're going to get it in there. We're going to push the back side of this grommet into the hole and then slowly work our way around with a screwdriver. Let me get this over here. You might be able to see it. I don't know if you're going to be able to or not. Get this there and then we just slowly work our way around one side to the other getting that grommet oh down in there it's hard to do this with recording because i can't get a good spot on it but we'll work our way around it it's a very tight fit see it's getting in there it's getting closer Okay, and then just make sure you push it down. Make sure it's all the way down in there. Um, this is the vent. The vent will go. All right. So uh, this is the vent. It'll go up in here if you can, like so. Um, and then uh, carburetor. It's got uh, two nipples on it. The bigger one goes to the short one, which is the filter. 
The littler one goes to the longer one, which is no filter. Um, so we're going to go ahead and install these. Long one's in place. Um, here, this is an old gasket. We'll rip this off of there. Get it out of there. Short one's going to have to be pulled back up now that we've gotten, you know, we know where they're going. Ooh, just got here. Been a long Christmas break and my pliers aren't working. There we go. Get stabbed on there. It should be good. Make sure these aren't too long. If the hoses are too long, they'll kink and it won't let fuel through. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and put the throttle cable back on. We're going to slide it into the barrel first, like so, bring it around, slide it down on, back in place, tighten this bolt back up, 10 millimeter, make sure this back piece is, the cable part is pointing down, tighten it on, like so, and then we're going to get the gaskets out, we got new filters, gaskets are underneath. You got this gasket right here. These holes will be down. They are the vacuum ports that run the fuel pump that's built in your carburetor. And then this one will go against your air filter assembly. So your air filter assembly, put this one on, like so. Doesn't matter which way that little hole goes, as long as it's down in, like that. Doesn't matter. And then um, put it through the carburetor. And then with these small holes pointed down, put this one on, like that. And then we're going to tighten them down. Snug tight, snug tight, um, check your throttle, make sure it's working fine. All right, let's go ahead and put some gas in it. Gas in it, let's prime it, make sure it primes. Fuel's coming up, boom, primed right up, that's a good sign. If it doesn't prime, look inside here. If you see foam coming out of the filter, that means you've got these two lines backwards, flip them around. Air filter back on. His is nice and clean and new still. I'm going to put his back on. Air filter cover. Choke arm is always towards the recoil rope. And then this guy will go towards it. And I'm twitching and everything. First day back off vacation. I don't even know how to act. God dang it. In here. Act like I need a beer. There we go. On full choke. Oh, put the gas cap on before we spill gas everywhere. Full throttle primed up. Take it off choke. You can turn the idle down for the screw that's right here if you need to, but this one seems to be okay. All right, I hope that helped you out. If it did in any way, shape, or form, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. I'll put the uh, parts in the description below. Um, I use this part number right here. Um. If you want to do any advertising through my channel, message me. I'll be more than happy to have you. Peace.